on. There's been an increase in the pace of, uh, of transits of U.S. We continue to see that China seeks to erode U.S. military advantages and uh, seek to gain and maintain influence, and it backs these ambitions with significant resourcing, which translates into real capabilities and capacity. Our 2019 report finds that in the coming decades, China seeks to become both prosperous and powerful, and the report notes that China has a stated goal of becoming a world-class military by 2049. China's leaders are leveraging their growing diplomatic, economic, uh, as well as their military clout to secure China's status as a great power and with the aim of becoming the preeminent power in the Indo-Pacific. China continues to grow its inventory of DF-26 intermediate range ballistic missiles. These missiles are capable of conducting conventional and nuclear precision strikes against targets, both ground and naval targets in the Western Pacific and Indian Oceans. Uh, China has begun construction of its second domestically built aircraft carrier in 2018. Their first domestically built aircraft carrier will likely join the fleet this calendar year. And of course, these carriers follow uh, a foreign acquired carrier. China conducts influence operations. We have a special section of the report that addresses that, targeting media, culture, business, academia, and the policy communities in the United States and other countries. Our report also talks about U.S.-China military-to-military relations. While the national defense strategy emphasizes competition, uh, we certainly don't see conflict with China, and it doesn't preclude cooperation where our interests align. We continue to pursue a constructive results-oriented relationship between our countries, and it's an important part of our regional strategy to have stable, uh, constructive relations with China and a relationship which mitigates the risk of incident or accident. So I think they have areas of excellence, such as ballistic and cruise missiles. There's areas where they're making rapid progress, cyber and space. Uh, I think the report um, also suggests where they do need more work, and, and we do look at that as a department. Um, there are things that we do in terms of training, in terms of uh, sophisticated integration of, of command and control and, and intelligence that, that they're not quite there yet. The training uh, is not as complex as ours. So there, there are things that, uh, that, that they would need to work on in order to achieve that status. Um, but there, there are certainly areas where they've made a lot of progress and I would, I would describe as niche areas of excellence. They've had a very aggressive modernization effort that goes back at least uh, two decades. So they've made progress in a number of areas. I would say uh, their power projection through ballistic and cruise missiles is an area they've made tremendous progress, and they continue to develop uh, enhanced capabilities in those areas. But really, it wouldn't be limited to that. And I think in, in particularly in new domains, uh, they've invested a lot in cyber, space, hypersonics, AI. So we're seeing a very aggressive modernization effort backed by resourcing. Thank you.